I originally wanted to do this because I remembered a few years back, we, when, as soon as we came back to school, the second week, our school wanted to have something so the kids would be like happy about coming back to school, so they hired Patrick Ross. He was playing a tune and I went up there and I helped him with his bowing because he wanted someone to uh, bow for him. So I originally found out about Patrick through that and then, then I convinced him into letting me play the fiddle because it's his first instrument and he knows the most about it. So we play folk tunes for right now. So Red Wing and uh, The Temperate's Real. So round two it is repeated three times with an emphasis on the 15 second. Oh, the 15 second break, so your hand has a chance to rest. Because in that 15 second space is where the hand actually, in my opinion, my theory is that it gets smarter in those 15 seconds. Well, the point of this is um, when we first started out, he told me to press one finger down about 20 times and then to the switch to the next one. And the goal is that I'm telling my brain to move the finger, whatever finger I'm... So right now I'm pressing down my third finger. I'm telling my brain to press it down. And it's supposed to help me coordinate my fingers to my brain. So that you can learn how to move one finger at a time without all the other fingers going in tow, right? Great. Nice job. Right. The resting period is as important as the non-resting period, just as sleep is as important as being awake, you know. All these, uh, there are nine rounds in total that I developed. They're all extrapolated from the act of being in the moment playing a fiddle tune. I'm trying to... So the, the analogy is this. I don't, I'm not telling him anything, right? But by pushing him, he's preventing himself from falling, right? Somehow, there are muscles in his feet that are reacting to this so that he doesn't fall. <laughs> Same thing, your fingers are going to react if they hear something that's out of pitch, right? Eventually, you won't have to tell them. It's not, I mean, you want to experiment with that because with pressure, you can add more pressure or you can reduce pressure, okay? And you can determine which of those two is going to help you and remember that.